Katie and Joe. You are both incredible and amazing people. Not to mention two of the most fun people to be around. About five years ago, a big group of my friends were going to an 80s cover band concert with a big group of Katie's friends, and someone just happened to have an extra ticket. Luckily, Joe was the one who took that ticket. And since then, I, along with everyone who's here, has been lucky enough to see Katie and Joe's relationship grow and blossom into what it is today. A few weeks ago, I was talking to Katie's parents, and Katie's dad, Stacy, told me something about Joe. He said, that when you're talking to Joe, he makes you feel like you're the only person in the room. And I totally know where Stacy is coming from. Joe, you're, you're not just like that when you're talking to your now very soon to be father-in-law. You're, you're like that with everyone. You have an uncanny ability to stop everything you're doing and focus solely on those people that you care about, especially Katie. And I just recently chatted with Vince, Joe's brother and his best man. He gushed about how Katie became a part of their family immediately. Whether it was playing games with their little brothers or texting Vince just to ask how he was doing. He talked about how Katie brings out the best in everybody, especially Joe. But what blows me away the most is how incredibly supportive you are of each other in every aspect of your lives. It's abundantly clear that the two of you are not only a team, but each other's biggest fans. You're consistently there for one another. You lean on each other for support, advice, and comfort. And the two of you have set an example for how a relationship should work. Anyone here should aspire to have that same kind of love that the two of you share. By the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Joe, you may kiss the bride. Thank you to our guests. You know, uh, the theme that we've heard over and over again is um, that I treat you like you're the only person in the room. But tonight, but tonight, I'd like to apologize because the only person in the room for me is, is my beautiful wife, Katie. Thank you.